So let's talk about the one room deep concept whenever you're engaging threats when you're inside the home and the threats are outside of the home. So as we saw in that video there, there's several gunmen rolling up to the dude's house. One of the biggest mistakes I see people make is that they get right up on their window whenever they try to engage somebody like this. Now you, what you wanna do is you wanna be one room deep, if able, with cover and concealment in case they start shooting back. And here's an illustration of what I'm talking about. So here I go inside of the house and now I stand right up on the window and you can see me pretty easily. Now if I take a step back, I'm in that shadowed area in the back, which keeps me extra safe because I'm taking up less real estate in the window. So if somebody was to shoot a random round through that window, the chances of it hitting me are much less. And I'm about to show you here what I mean in a second. So you can see my tripod right there that I had the phone in next to the slide. This is me in the window. And now if I take a step back, I can still see the slide. I can still see any person that would be out there through this window just by taking a couple of steps back. So as you see here, I'm in the window, taking up about 90% of the real estate in this window. So if I confront them and I startle them, they shoot 10 rounds back at the house and one of those rounds happens to come through my window. Well, that means I have a 90% chance of being hit by that one bullet. However, if I just take a couple of steps back, not only will they not be able to see me in that window, but now I'm only taking up, say, 10% real estate in the window frame, so that one bullet now has a 10% chance of hitting me. Plus, I have this covering concealment right here, mostly concealment, a little bit of cover. You know, my house is made out of brick, so that's also gonna work in my benefit. But I can just post up right here and confront them with my weapon point and direct at them because I know that they're armed. So if they do decide to start shooting at me, I'll have a clear line of sight and engage with them. They won't know what window I'm coming from. If they do shoot randomly at the house, very small chance that that bullet's gonna come through and actually strike me. So that's the importance of a one room deep methodology when it comes to confronting armed criminals outside of your home like this. But of course, I recommend that you just stick with the fatal funnel within your home. Don't go looking for trouble. Don't get out of the house and go flank them from your back door. Because if there's three, four armed gunmen with rifles and handguns and all that stuff coming up to your house late at night, who's to say that there's not 10 and a couple that are actually out back already that you're going to go running into, get yourself shot and killed. Remember, you don't get a second chance with this, guys. So you want to make sure that you're doing it right, do it smart, defend your home, defend the people that you love. That's what is the biggest priority, not our egos necessarily.